So today I was wasting my life away on Facebook like the boomer that I am and turns out it was a really good thing that I was on Facebook today because I happened to come across this article from somebody that I know. I don't know him personally but he's in one of the Facebook Oculus groups that I'm in and he had posted something extremely interesting that I think the Oculus community would love to know about. It's in respect to a future update that's going to be coming very soon to the Oculus Quest that's going to allow multiple users. Let's get right into it. Let me tell you guys what I know. So this was an email sent out to developers. It says, Dear Oculus Developer, and again, I don't have an official source on this. This is just somebody in the Facebook group that posted this, but reading through the letter, it looks legit. It sounds like Oculus wording, and it, it lines up with what Oculus was going to do anyway. So I'm pretty sure this is pretty legit. So let's go through it. It says, Next month, so this is being recorded right now in January, so that means in February. Next month, we are rolling out two of the most requested features from our VR community, multi-user accounts, the ability for multiple accounts to log into a single headset, and app sharing, the ability to share apps with others on the shared device. All right, so this is really, really awesome. This is something people have been wanting for a long time. Um, I made a video just recently about the Move app and how you can't have different profiles for different users. Well, now with this, you're gonna be able to have a different account a connected to the move app so that you can use the exercise metrics for you specifically and not get it mixed up with the metrics of other people in your household so that's extremely awesome not only that but you'll be able to play the same games with your own username this means that you won't have to let your kids play on your population one account which is really upsetting to a lot of people that play population one let's keep going with these features the primary account holder will be able to add secondary accounts to their device and share the apps they purchase with these secondary accounts not only will this enable safe sharing, but game progress and achievements will be personalized and saved separately for each account. So like I said, everyone's gonna be able to have their own account, do what they want. Um, I'm excited for this. We anticipate that these features will help grow the VR community, promote your apps, and help prevent piracy. Additionally, unique accounts and effective sharing mechanisms increase household usage, driving better engagement for the developer long-term. We'll initially launch these features on the Quest 2 as experimental, and then later roll out to all Quest users. To start, a primary account holder can add up to three secondary accounts and enable app sharing on a single device. We expect an increasing number of households to have multiple Quest devices, so the app sharing feature will later expand to allow a primary account holder to share their purchases across multiple devices. As we receive consumer and developer feedback, we may adjust the necessary device number of devices and secondary accounts as necessary. Okay, so what this sounds like is they're going to have initially, they're just going to let you have multiple accounts on one headset. And then in the future, not right away, they're going to allow you to share apps between multiple headsets within the same household. If you have an app in the Oculus Quest store today, your app will automatically be opted into the app sharing feature starting February 13th, 2021. If your app is required to opt out for contractual or other reasons, you will need to disable app sharing by February 12th, 2021 by visiting your organ manager page here. Select the app that you want to opt out, navigate to the settings tab and choose app sharing. Existing Rift, Go and Gear apps are not affected by this new policy. Okay, so this is just going to affect the quest. It's not going to affect anything else, which makes sense because they're really focusing on the quest. And it looks like we have a date on when this is going to start happening. So February 13th, day before Valentine's Day, you're going to be able to have multiple accounts on the same headset. Now, I don't think it's going to be like that day everyone's going to get it like most oculus updates it's going to take a couple weeks as they roll it out to everybody but still that's the date we're going to start seeing this feature coming out starting february 13th 2021 all new apps submitted to the oculus platform including rift and quest apps will need to support app sharing for, as further described in our updated app policies so it sounds like they're going to force future developers to allow for app sharing but they're not going to force current ones to have to do that because they may have contractual reasons why they may not so I think that's a good thing. I think it's like it's going to make it a lot easier for people to be able to play together, especially with the whole app sharing thing. This means that you'll be able to have one person on one headset, another person on another headset without having to buy the game multiple times. You should be able to play together. At least that's what it's starting to sound like. Multi-user and app sharing can help you reach more VR users, expand your community and promote your apps to ensure these features are used as intended. We've established the following protections. These may change in the future as we incorporate feedback and suggestions from our community. So let's go through these and see what they mean. First, to use multi user and app sharing, the primary account holder and secondary accounts must each log into their shared device using their own Facebook accounts. Now this makes sense. I don't think this is a shock for anybody. We all know Facebook's pushing for Facebook accounts. Not a big deal in my opinion. Some people don't like it. I don't think it's a big deal. Secondary account holders can
can only launch the primary owner's eligible shared app entitlements on the shared device. If the secondary account holder purchases their own device or already has their own device, they won't be able to access the primary owner's shared apps on their new headset. So that's an interesting fact that just is going to make it so that, you know, you can't sign on to be a secondary user on my account and then automatically you have my library on games on your own account. Um, this is going to make it so that it's legitimately only being used so that people within the same household can share games with their own profiles. Only the secondary accounts on the shared device may use the primary user's app entitlements, including certain in-app purchases or DLC if permitted. Secondary account holders may purchase their own apps and content on the shared device, but cannot share these apps with the primary account holder or other secondary accounts. So what that means is if you're a secondary user and you go buy a game on your account, that game's not automatically going to be accessible to the primary user. This is different from um, Steam family sharing, where I believe if you're sharing between two people, they're on the same family, one buys a game, you can share it both ways, it doesn't matter. But with Oculus, they're making it so that the primary account holder has to buy the game. And I think this is a push to make it so that it's more like a parent buying the game and sharing it with their kids, as opposed to, let's say, a bunch of roommates or a bunch of friends just sharing a headset. An Oculus user who enables app sharing can log into multiple devices simultaneously, but cannot run the same app with their account on more than one device at a time. Different accounts can run the shared app simultaneously, subject to the device limitation mentioned above. Okay, so that's a good clarification. With app sharing, you can log into multiple devices, but can't run the same app at the same time. So let's say you own multiple headsets, you can't necessarily on the same account log into the same game. But if those two headsets have different accounts on them, you could have one headset with the primary account and another headset with a secondary account logging in. And it sounds like playing together. I really hope that it lets you play together. That's going to make it really awesome for people who own like a game like Population One and want to play with their friends and family. Currently, you can't do that. There's very few games you can do that with Arizona Sunshine being one of them, but that's just because it's really old. The primary user cannot be changed without a factory reset. A primary user can add secondary accounts, but secondary accounts cannot add other accounts. Again, this makes sense. Primary account holder has all the power. He's the one that's sharing with everyone else. It's not back and forth, secondary sharing to the first or switching around just so you can share games. They're making it so that only one person owns the headset, buys games, but lets people in their household have their own accounts. This is exactly what people have been wanting, and they're just making sure that developers still get paid by people buying their games and not just pirating it by sharing it with each other. So this is really awesome. I'm really excited for this to come out in February. I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is this something you've been wanting? How do you expect to use this? And is this a good thing that Oculus is doing? I think this is shows that Oculus listens to the community and is willing to give us what we want. And it's going to just get better and better as they develop more and more features. So I'm excited for this. If you haven't subscribed already, you might as well subscribe since you've made it this far. Also check out our Discord community. But anyways, that's it. I'm out.